Anyway, <laughs> this week it was Dave's pick. Uh, Pumpkinhead was the pick. 1988 had the guy from They Live in It as well. Made that connection. Oh, so the bum off. The bum off. Yeah, the live. Fans flower. of living, flower. living awesome in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Doing good. The really main nice. star of the film. Guys. Oh, so Lance think, Henderson. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Harley. And then it's directed by Stan Winston. Yes. He went on to have like a very uh, successful career in makeup and special effects in movies. Big time movies. But that was his first film he directed. That's what I would think. And that's one of the things, when you watch it, it's like, oh, well, that's his first film. I enjoyed it, yeah. Did you yeah. enjoy it? I, it? It is what it is, man. When it comes to movies like that, they are what they are. <laughs> like, they're not anything, like, substance-wise for me. They don't scare me. They make me laugh. Like, don't, <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, I'm the worst horror film movie watcher of all time. Like... Don't take me to the theater, I will ruin your experience. Because guess what, when it scares you, it's going to make me bust out laughing. Like, out loud, hysterically, at how funny that was. I was trying to be, like, thrill horror and stuff like that. Stuff like that just doesn't spook me. Like, the shut the door, the dog, like... So you have a lot of cheap shots in it, you know? Yeah. The come back to life, you got to, like, throw three bullets in it to kill. I enjoyed, kill I enjoyed the way the film was put together. I liked the, yeah. the filming techniques and everything. I found this place, it's an old church. He may not have a he may have a hard time finding us here. I think he's here. <laughs> like, I think I think he's here. Well he comes with his own like weather pattern. Like yeah. 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 he comes with his own. As soon as he shows up there's like a swarm of bees. <laughs> there's some storms and lightning. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> like it's you know The audio intensity. Yeah, the swarm of bees thing. <laughs> made it after when was aliens made? So 1970, yeah. 78, yeah. six. You can tell that the monster derives, I think, a lot from from that film. The it's, way it creeps, and the way it's shown on the structure. Oh yeah, we were, pulls we were way off from the, But yeah, it pulls. It it had a very similar alien alien look. In that makes sense. 1979. They show it silhouette. There you go. They show it silhouette, and it even has like at the beginning, at the very beginning, they give you like the teasers of the monster. It's like uh, all up on the hill, and that's the memory that, of course, uh, Harley has is of, uh, you know, I guess that's when Pumpkin he was a boy. Was yeah. that when he was a boy? He yeah. saw that yeah, outside, yeah, right? Boy, yeah. That's, that's, that's how that tells. Yeah. This thing tells just like a campfire story, really. The whole movie is just very much <laughs> like that sing-songy pumpkin head's going to get you. That's how it <laughs> plays out, really. It's like a, <coughs> just a regular campfire story. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a good horror film, though. A good cheesy horror film. Yeah. yeah. Talk, you know. I like you we were pointing out the lighting. The lighting was good. It was. Oh, yeah, lighting yeah. really good. Really good lighting. Yeah. There was some really good camera work in it, some good transitions, some good focusing, you know, transitions. Yeah, I agree with that. And that one, did you notice that one where, like, the couple sitting there, the camera comes up on them, and then they go up onto the kitchen counter, and then uh, pumpkin heads outside the window. Oh, yeah, oh, and then he moves. Yeah. But he's been there the whole time. Yeah. yeah. It was really good camera work and everything. There's some, there was, like, it's like, uh, I don't know, pretty remarkable that <laughs> you find that in that film. I, I didn't expect some of those. Yeah, and then they had some not so great ones as well. So. <laughs> some not so great ones. That's but great. I, I, overall, I like this film. You know, it's something from my youth when I watched it. It was just, I don't know, I always liked Pumpkinhead. I, I think all the. the <laughs> it's a good, like, little urban, or uh, not urban legend. Urban uh, tale. It's like a folk, yeah. folk yeah. tale or. Uh, and I like the backwoods, like backwoods. No electricity. Yeah, it's nothing. No phone. Like no, they, no. we got a phone at the cabin. Yeah. There's like yeah, they're in like the really poor people and like dirt poor. Yeah, yeah. obviously they're yeah. extremely dirty. Oh, wait, is yeah, that all sitting around in the you know? On the my thing is, is that all? Is that one city or is that one guy that just like inbred all his family out? <laughs> Do we? I don't know if he's inbreeding, but. There's a lot of people it's called Paul and Grandpa. And then the, clearly, like, Grandpa had that son. And that was also man. his grandson. But when he showed up, he's the one that didn't leave. You know, he was staring at him the whole time. He sent the younger guy to get the Grandpa. Yeah. He's, he's maintaining control. Yeah. You were laughing because he could have done it himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. could have done it himself. The point was is he was maintaining, you know, Here's eye, what he eye contact on the guy that was there. Yeah. I don't know who's in charge. It's a good way to put it. But still, though. <laughs> And those kind 
of movies, you're like, oh, what? I thought, I thought what? it was good, though. Yeah. I think it was like, uh, it had moments that, of unexpected substance. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, I think it, it does. does. It, it, it wasn't just a cheap, hollow uh, horror film or, like, a replica of a slat or, you know. It was pretty It good. has its own unique story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, right, the, right. Whole, the whole the demon of vengeance. It's, it has a kind of a really neat story. I, I think we... Uh, I think it relied heavily on a lot of other, you know, horror sure. films and yeah. stuff, like yeah. like they all do. Like, Chris, you were pointing out all the cliches that were just... Yeah, yeah. Oh, one like, after the other, witch. one after the other. The witch's that, house. Yeah. It's just, but it's kind of fun. I think a witch point. lives there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> before you go in, it's like, in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta walk There's through a buzzer, like, like water. in the tree. There's an <laughs> owl in the Bra house. Yeah. <laughs> She's got an owl in the house. There's tarantulas. On a tray where you're dropping silver into. Yeah, they hang out there. It's <laughs> awesome. She's she, exactly what you'd expect she's her to weathered. be. Like. She sits in front of a fire. I wonder. In during front of watching the movie, I'm like, I wonder what she does in her free time. Like, whenever she's not witching, like, she is, she is it just that he catches her in that chair. Is that all she does? Is just sit there in a chair and, like, worship Wait Satan. for people to worship the Satan. He's <laughs> already <laughs> damned me. I mean, oh, 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 I, I'm already damned. He already has. This is the only thing that will protect us. The price. We gotta pray. Oh, then then she got to <laughs> How'd that go? I like how like all those like some little messages like they smash the cross and like she's like, I'm already damned and then it's like Jesus Christ, we gotta get out of here. Like, and just like one after the other. Well, the like, first thing she was like, she said, just in case God didn't show up, yeah. she had the knives. That was what it was. And yeah. she, then immediately she says, Jesus, when they break in. Yeah. And then she's like, let's get the hell let's out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. I turned from tough. What? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All I kind of but where are you gonna go? It's pumpkin head. <laughs> yeah. There's no escape, right? No, you can get on a plane Seem and fly to Australia. <laughs> like and six months later, this thing's gonna walk out of the ocean. <laughs> We're gonna come and get you. Yeah, right? See, like he was pretty slow when it came when he got to the moment. Yeah, yeah. He, like he took his time. He does. Yeah. He's well, well, he can get to it pretty quick. He is. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. He, he can get just... there in his time, like with the storm. Dude, I what, guess. Well, here's what's funny about that though is kind of creepy. is is and he like drools a lot. He's like, I'm <laughs> he does drool a lot. Well, they make, a lot. They make that they make him slow all the time. But how did he get all the way back to the other cabin? Set up the motorcycle, rip the chain off. <laughs> while they had a humongous head start. He's been I think back there's at the some supernatural things going on. Yeah. I would say that the storm carries him there <laughs> as fast as the I wind. ride the wind. <laughs> he was a tricky little trickster when he yeah. was. jumped on the bike yeah. and he had the chain. <laughs> that was. Yeah. I could have went with maybe a little bit out without that, but that's uh, pumpkin head. That's pumpkin, pumpkin head. head's a dick, man. Well, trick or treat. You know, well, and I think. Trick or treat's right. That time. But I think, you know, I think, I think it's. <laughs> Pumpkin Head wasn't necessarily all animalistic, you know, mm. and he gets less, I guess, as well, time goes on and he becomes more like that guy. The person, yeah. yeah, he's connected with the person that brings on the revenge. Yeah, that's and that's how I assume that Harley keeps finding them. When, <laughs> wherever they're at, Harley eventually shows up there is because he's connected yeah. to Pumpkin Head and he sees where they're at kind of through. And we see that they Pumpkinhead. connect eyes. Yeah. I get a sense that he almost is seeing the death. As Pumpkinhead's doing it in his mind, like he's seeing what. And it did hurt seen. him in Pumpkinhead, right? When he, uh, obviously, that's how he realizes at the end when he runs into. Oh the yeah, when he runs into the pitchfork, yeah. yeah. <coughs> that so that's nail. how we know they're connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The nail had caught his. So I'd imagine if they're connected physically, they would be connected mentally. Mentally, as well. yeah. yeah. Well, because yeah. he obviously, whenever he's killing, he goes. Yeah, immediately when it started. He became like in a deep, like a drone state. I think it's funny though. Like, so Harley's know, really not controlling it. Oh, well, he is though, because he's like fighting. He, his, his rage, his, his rage. His vengeance. Is, it's yeah. the it's the demon of his vengeance. His vengeance, like demonized. I say personified, but it's not. It's demonized, and and uh, yeah, and then he gets consumed by it. She warned him. I mean, anytime somebody's <laughs> like, that's gonna be a heavy price. <laughs> she warned him. She's like, no, I wouldn't do that. Yes. Like, yeah. She yeah. did. She did, yeah. She gave she a warning. Yeah. And so did yeah. everybody else. Yeah. But here's the And we just didn't see it going this way. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I don't think there'd be much of a movie if he's like, you know what, I'm gonna listen to this old witch. I'm going home. <laughs> okay, what about the little boy? He's a cute little boy. He yeah. pretty, you know, you kind of like, do you care? <laughs> That's the guy from Jerry Maguire. They build a relationship. Uh, you know, they build like a relationship between the dad and the son that I think makes you care a little bit. It was quite quick. It was. It was it one was. of Makes you Pretty care. Pretty punk to show up. And yeah. Good man, what <laughs> a stereotype douchebag punk. <laughs> I mean, like, he's like the ultimate. Who grew on He's my brother. <laughs> But like, how like, screw this, I'm getting on my dirt bike. <laughs> you either see here with them or come with me. <laughs> Top Gun. Getting out of here. <laughs> Rad. Dude, I thought it was hilarious when it's like his brother's tone of voice. Dude, his, oh, complete. His, like, his tone of voice max. like completely changed. Like the younger brother, when they got in the cab, he's like, oh, come on, man. Like it just sounds like a kid. Like all of a sudden he sounded like a... He sounded older when he's at the store and like Which talking to his brother, the younger brother of the guy that killed the boy. I think I remember right when he gets yeah. back to the cab yeah. and uh, it's like, oh, he's... I remember they got back and they were getting they're they locked in the closet and yeah. stuff. And he's yeah. like, oh, but his little brother just doesn't do any, you know, he's yeah. just like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. I'll he, cover he, that, 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 that guy's just like, I'll beat all your asses. We're staying here until I can figure this out, but he's not smart at all. So it takes him a while to finally be like, oh, man. I'm an idiot. I've been an idiot my whole life. I've been a fucking my whole life. I want to turn a new leaf, but it's too late now. This monster. Here goes pumpkin head. <laughs> oh, no, what you the want? The moral of the story is like, don't hang out with douchers. <laughs> because they won't get demons after you. That's, that's exactly the moral. You are the company yeah. you keep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. guilty by association. Yeah, completely. Yeah. You are the company you keep. Look at the kid with the Coke bottle glasses. He's like, this <laughs> like. I'm just saying, we know him. We heard you. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Send it up real quick. This guy is just a douchebag. Yeah, yeah super yeah. dude. You're like, man, there's no good can come with this guy. Man, super dude. Fucking douche. kills the kid. What yeah. a super dude. Yeah, you didn't expect him to be that bad. Yeah, I thought he was yeah. gonna maybe kill the dog that was running. I thought the there. dog was right? what was gonna happen. Yeah, and he kills the kid. Yeah. Uh, with a one hit from a dirt bike that didn't look very bad. Yeah, he didn't hit us. He didn't hit us straight on. on several of his no organs. way, the pig would have hit like an R or a leg, and he would have like got smoked to the elbow. I wouldn't have killed him. Well, what like, I saw in the movie looked like he got hit in the head and killed him. Oh no! It was this is the happened. same movie that had blood coming off the knife, not even touching the skin. <laughs> Well, he's supposed to be getting cut. So I don't really know about your joke. There's supernatural stuff going on. Didn't you hear Roger? <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, I have another set malfunction because of the stupidity of that comment. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> supernatural stuff going on. Magic My blood. comment was so stupid <laughs> that it, like, knocked a blanket off. That's supernatural. 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 Don't, before he said it, so it, but it was natural. Don't either one of you start bringing the hippie jibbies from your houses over to my house. <laughs> I mean, I know you both have got possessed true. houses. You're yeah. doing your possessed houses. Like, Don't be poking ahead that shit over here. You're not hanging out with guys. And even though they, they were said so it in the first scene, the little boy, and even that one girl was like, little boy, little boy, she little, little boy. Before it happened, that was really weird and creepy. It's like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, I don't understand. Like, like, what? How does she know? <laughs> well, he's running out wherever you're going around, and she knows he's a total. I did know. I did. I know there was a cut scene. Really protective. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> that's the case. She could have been right. I knew there was a, a cut scene, and then they cut out when she was eating pumpkin pie before that scene, and she had a connection with the pumpkin head, knowing that the boy was going to die, so that she was able to get to him. That's not what she did. Okay. That didn't happen. I think. I think no. There's some oh. other stuff that, oh. was, that you know. <laughs> that was brought in and was not left on the editing floor that. There were some bad edits of like eye movements and oh really? What about like this? The everything. monster's over here, but why are you looking over there? You got to assume budget would make it so that they just couldn't take that many takes. Budget really? Yeah, it does make a hard job. It is. It is. <laughs> it's hard to catch everything, and then there's a there's a lot where like the characters are moving. They just you can feel it's so beautifully yeah. obvious they're not together in the same shot. But that's the way you make movies. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, man. sometimes you get what you get. It's art. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. That's just how the cookie crumbles. You gotta get in the boat. Indeed. And row it together. But I thought Pumpkinhead was a cool monster. Like, yeah, yeah I really do. He's cool. Yeah, he looks really menacing. I like that he came from a pumpkin package. I do too. <laughs> yeah. It's like totally a campfire story. With fog. 
It actually does come from a pumpkin patch yeah. on this like yeah, creepy, the, yeah. weird, mounded grave that's been there from like the swamp just spit it up or something <laughs> like that. Well, they like reburied them at the end. Right? Yeah, she buries so, the old witch is burying him right there in that same spot with the necklace, so you know it's him and he's the next pumpkin head. So it's like a cycle that doesn't end. Interesting. Until that witch dies, because she's probably the only well, one left in the world. But if she does die, die, I don't, I don't know. know. You gotta wonder. That's the, the fire thing. keeps her alive. She's pretty fucking old. <laughs> yeah, you don't know how old. She could be like three thousand well, years old. We, we assume know, that she was the same witch that did it, conjured it up the last time. Maybe. Yeah, like, <laughs> take all it by your own. dreams, <laughs> all your nightmares. He was kind of, you know, from the beginning. Even with his kid, he's he's been disturbed because he's seen this. Yeah, when he was young. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, at the, he's at the the witch's house. And he had to like admit to it. He like punched the wall. He never admitted to it, but she talked to him though. <laughs> he never said it. He never said Say the word. Say it. Say it, Holly. <laughs> Holly. The dad. He looked back and he gave this evil look, and it was it was convincing. Yeah. Holly. You know when he turns around and like looks at that guy, and he after he's like, hey, is there anything I can do to help? And the guy, yeah. he just turns around and gives him this like, you've helped enough, bitch. Death stare. That was, that was pretty convincing. Yeah, he just lost his son. Like, like the yeah. kid's like an idiot anyway. Yeah. Like, they were all, yeah, all yeah, right. All. They're all young kid idiots, which yeah. makes sense. Going out to the backwoods and killing little kids. <laughs> <laughs> Got any beer? No, no liquor. Really? I think it's fun. I think it's yeah. a fun yeah, it's horror. Fun, yeah. I, I love the fact that we got to watch it on uh, it's yeah, during October. Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. During, it's, during, it's definitely a Halloween. I was movie. thinking that as we were watching it, I was like, this is like a perfect time to watch this movie. Like, it's like, these are changes, it's starting to get cold out there. It's starting to look like it's starting to get cold there. Leaves look like it's starting to change there. It's getting like that time of year. It's all dark and I gloomy. I like to do about it. It was a cool, like, horror Cheesy, film. funny I mean, horror film. Yeah. Or to eight. It was cheesy. It was funny. Yeah. I laughed. I chuckled a lot. I chuckled. But there were scenes like when they when he when he uh, dug up the first pumpkin head and everything. That was creepy to me. You know? yeah. yeah. So it might be cheesy in parts and funny in parts, but then there's parts where it's like you know. Well, when he like second guesses himself there too. Like when he already gets to the body, it's all covered with like maggots and worms. <laughs> yeah, he did. Like, like whoa! Like he's like, 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 what the fuck am I doing? Uh, and I was right there with him. What am I doing? Because yeah. I was like, that was a little creepy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What am I doing? What am and I then doing? he's like, "They killed my son." Vengeance is bull be yeah. mine. Yeah, and he couldn't just do it himself. He had to get pumpkin. That was pizza. another. Yeah, yeah, he had to. <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, when he's getting ready to leave, it was another creepy moment. Whenever uh, she's like, "Leave the boy." That was another one of those. Oh, yeah, man, she's gonna do weird shit to your yeah. kid. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking? You're gone. <laughs> he's looking. He's like, "Uh, I don't really wanna." Leave him with uh, a choice. Damn, old oh, vengeance. Yeah. He was like, I'll leave his kid. He Hell no. He man. knows she did some weird shit. She's all fucking cooped up in there all the time and all she's like. I think that's, that's got to be why she's doing this, right? That's why a woman like that, beyond being compelled by just being evil, Our will help people do this. Like, she just enjoys it. I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what. I wonder what motivates her. You know? yeah, like, what <laughs> motivates somebody to do those kind of things? Like, just she just chilling? They want to watch the world burn. Is I don't that... know. Maybe she <laughs> got into it and didn't, you know, didn't realize how deep she was going to get into it. And, she and maybe she just has to when she's requested. Maybe that's part of her right. deal, to, just to live. You know, like, that's how she gets to be three hundred years old. I was going to point out though. I do think it was pretty good how they established the the, the lead with his son bringing the punks. And then incorporate the hillbilly kids as well, and like all of them beginning real well. I mean, it was pretty put, well put together, even though there was some hokiness. And like, mm -hmm. I think yeah. the writing was pretty good. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, I like the story. I like the setup. Yeah. The, the, the where they it tease the their brother. <laughs> he steals the ball. Yeah, yeah. pumpkin head, pumpkin head. It's like Freddy Krueger's you know thing. Mm -hmm. Candy man. It did seem like it started to drag there at the end. I felt so too. Like it, it's like uh, shouldn't this showdown have already happened by now? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that there were more. I was like, man, there were certain parts of this movie that you know, weren't necessary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, hey, what do you give it, Roger? I give it a two. I think it's good. Two. I give it one thumb up. Dave. I think it's good. I yeah. think it's a good campfire story. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, next week 
is Roger's pick, and what is it going to be? In the Mouth of Madness. In the Mouth of Madness. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> it's going to be good times. So until next week, we'll see you then. Bye.